VDOT works hard to ensure that no endangered species are harmed by our projects or construction. One of the most common endangered groups we see in our area is bats. We conduct bat surveys before a construction project begins, using specialized microphones that record the echo locations of bats. Figuring out if the bats in the area around a project are endangered requires plenty of monitoring and knowledge of the creatures. VDOT Salem District's local bat expert is Eric Wolf, a threatened and endangered species biologist. Before the advent of this technology, we could, we had to go actually catch bats in order to get species confirmation for what actual species we were seeing. But now this can record the ultrasonic echolocation signals of the bats. The program looks for what it looks like bat calls. This is one third of a second here is what's showing on this screen. So this is really, really fast. The device can help determine the type of bat from the common red bat to the endangered tricolored bat. This can record the ultrasonic uh, echolocation signals of the bats with this machine, and then it runs it through an algorithm and compares it to known calls. Even with advanced monitoring technology, Eric visually inspects for bats now and then. Bats often roost in caves, along cliff walls, under trees, under bridges, or inside cracks in buildings. Bat maturity season is April to August, so protecting baby and juvenile bats during this time is crucial to their survival. It's important to protect the bat population. They act as pollinators, helping with seed dispersal. Hate mosquitoes? Bats act as pest control, eating more than 500 in an hour. They may seem spooky to some people, but VDOT is committed to protecting wildlife of all kinds. So next time you see these kooky, furry, bug-eating machines, send up a bat signal, or better yet, invite them to your yard for dinner.